Hey y'all, it's the Texas Beekeeper here. Today we're going to go into our C.C. Miller hive to see what kind of queen cells we have. This was the queenless hive that we split off from the strongest hive in the apiary that we want all of our queen cells to be uh, made from. Uh, so I'm going to go in, see what we've got, see how many splits we can make, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, now this is day 10, not day 9. I was hanging out with my brother yesterday, so I pushed it back a day. Uh, yeah, uh, Monday would have been day uh, 8, and we were expecting rain. It actually turned out to be a pretty nice day, but uh, I didn't do it that day because of that. So I've got no choice but to do it today. So day 10, and I'll try to get back on schedule from here on, maybe go a day early next time or just continue on with the nine days. Thank you for watching. All right, we're gonna crack into the hive now. Uh, top box I put on just because I've been feeding pretty heavily. Uh, wanted to make sure they had plenty of resources. And uh, we'll see if they got any drawn out comb. And then down below, we're gonna see about the, the uh, amount of queen cells that we have. This will be for the splits. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, doesn't look like we have a lot in the top box. Uh, they did drink their sugar syrup. Uh, other than that though, not really seeing a lot of drawn out comb, so I'm just gonna take this box off. Now we're getting into where we might be seeing some queen cells. A little bit of drawn out comb at the bottom there, a little nectar in it. So they're relatively calm. Seem pretty good for a queenless hive. Let's see what we got here. Okay, nectar and pollen in this one nectar in this one nectar and pollen in this one nectar and a little bit of pollen here Okay, a lot of nectar in here. Nectar and pollen in here. I don't know if y'all can hear their roar, but definitely you can tell they're a queenless hive. Drawing out some comb there, a lot of nectar, capped, pollen. All right, so no queen cells yet. Is 
think we're about to change that from what I saw. Okay, here we've got one, two, three, four, five capped cells. Six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten. Oh, well, that's definitely a good frame for a split. But let's hope they did more than just that. Because on this foundation, those are going to be hard to, hard to remove otherwise. Okay, none here. None here. A lot of nectar in this one. Pollen. Same. Same nectar pollen and nothing there. And then stored nectar in this one. All right, so, so far we're at one frame with about 10 cells on it. Crack into the bottom. Ooh, that's it. All right. All right, a little bit of comb on that one. Not much else. Sorry for the wind. It's a little windier than I would like today. I'm gonna move the camera, one second. Okay, they're starting to buzz my face a little bit, so I'm gonna switch to a veil now. Nothing on that side. Uh, looks like a lot of pollen here. Okay, we got a queen cell. So one more queen cell here. Looks like nothing on that side. So we could do two splits. Really like to have more than one cell in a split. Well, let's see what else we got. Okay, it's 
a lot of nectar in here. Nectar pollen. Pollen, a lot of pollen here. Some drones on this frame, some brood. All right, we got another queen, two queen cells here. So that's good for a split. So we're at about, about 13 right now. What I may do on those others is put some cages on them, some of them, and let them emerge and then introduce them as virgin queens. A lot of pollen here. Okay. Same, a lot of pollen. Looks like this is our last chance here. So looks like we can do three splits. One of those only has one chance. These other frames have nothing on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those splits now. divvy up the resources okay this is going to go in one Give them some of this pollen. This is our other frame with that queen cell and some brood. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that in another nuke. And I'll divvy up these resources. Oh wait, Got another one with one. I don't think I either didn't see that or so maybe I'll put that in this other one. It's that one. It's just some nectar stored. Double check since I'm apparently blind. Some pollen here. All right, 
I don't see any don't see any cells on here so okay well, that's pretty much it there okay all right some good honey stores here All right. A lot of a lot of honey stores. Nectar, pollen. Just making sure I didn't miss any more queen cells. This is our mega cell frame. nectar and pollen in here a lot of nectar pollen no more cells nectar a little bit of pollen more nectar more pollen no more cells so I'll put this in the last nuke one more frame that looks like a good one good as any Okay, we've got our three nukes built up. Like I said, I wish that I was able to do more, but that's what we had to work with today. All right, so now we're gonna shift the strong hive over here, the top, probably the top middle box, maybe the top, depending on what's there. Leave the bottom box down there. I will check for uh, some brood down there. Uh, move it over here. We're going to take the queen out put her back in this this box is going to go over there So we're going to put her back in here with a lot of foundation uh, 
comb and brood and repeat the process again. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.